Leo, hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we're going to pull some messages that are going to help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing, money or love related. If there is a uh, big chunk of change you'd like to manifest into your life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, you got to check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We're going to, we're going to, what are we going to do? We're going to pull a message from your angels. They love you so much. Your angels are always with you. And they speak to you in uh, coins, feathers, roses, um, just all kinds of beautiful things. Um, so watch out because they are they are always there with you. And look at that. We just pulled the look for fairies card, which is the look for the magic. So be more present and see that this world that you're living in isn't what they told us it is, right? So beware of those conditions. Now, let's dive straight into your affirmation for the day. This is something that spirit really wants you to remember like more than anything ever, right? So write this down in the comments below to let spirit know that you're listening. I am a powerful creator. I am a powerful creator. I am a powerful creator. Yes, I am. Now finish that sentence. I'm a powerful creator and my life that I, that, uh, that I am creating looks like, and then what does your dream life look like? What does your fairy tale life look like, right? What does your best case scenario life look like? Because Leo, we want to remind you, right? Whatever you think about, right? It will come to fruition. Now, how do we get out of the fear mode in our present day, right? Because sometimes what happens is we become unmotivated in our present moments. We become uh, lackluster. We lose our, our, our fire, our edge. We are fearful. We are... Um, reactive emotionally we overeat we use drugs we drink alcohol right we're very reactive okay so the reason being is because you've lost uh, 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 focus of where you are going so when we get too caught up in what is right all the things that you see right and you may be going through you know relationship breakups you could be going through you know realizing you know uh, it's the end of something, the end of a chapter, whatever it may be. We do have the lovers and the 10 of swords. So it could have been a big decision you made and you just realized, you know, it's, it wasn't what you thought it was going to be either way, right? Any obstacle that we face, we can always overcome that obstacle, but only when we are the ones re remembering that we get to create what happens in our life next. Now, a lot of the times we get really caught up in what is, so let's put this into perspective, right? Because this is why we have blocks. This is why we have energy blocks is because we're focused in the what is and we're focusing on the lack. So say you just went through a breakup, right? Say you got divorced, whatever it may be. Well, chances are that was most likely intended to happen because there's somebody more aligned with your higher self waiting for you. So you see, when you start to really get into the, like playing with energy and really starting to play with the unknown realms of like what's possible and you'll know what you actually want when you're sitting in a meditative peaceful state, right? You're sitting in that kind of contemplative meditative state and you could even start this session with some scripting, right? So you script out maybe some positive intentions for your life or, or what your dream life would look like, money, maybe your favorite, what your house would look like or car, something easy, right? And then kind of get into this energy of playing, right? Start to dream, right? Start to daydream, that is. Uh, use your imagination because this is how we create, right? And then from this imaginative, blissed out, Wow, this feels really good. Imagine that was even possible. You're, you know, your fairy tale relationship, your fairy tale life, like truly everything is possible here. So, you know, have fun with this, right? You're going to have clarity on the situation that just happened. You're going to dive a little bit, you're able to dive a little bit deeper from that to the situation that just happened. And you're going to have this clarity. And all of a sudden, because you're then detached from this breakup, up front, right? You're going to no longer, are you focusing on the breakup and you know, oh no, life is over as we know it. You're going to detach from that energy, right? You're going to be focusing on what, on what actually feels right for you, which is going to feel really, really good. Right. And then what's going to happen is you're going to get all this clarity of like, okay, there were some flags here. I guess I wasn't seeing, you know, they did, you know, not call me back or, you know, they were not really showing that they were, you know, that into me. I think I may have played that up a little bit and you know it's just gonna become more obvious and clear of what actually transpired you know what I mean and then you're gonna realize oh so maybe maybe I really wasn't supposed to be with that person maybe okay so that means 
That means someone better is coming. Oh my gosh, that means someone better is coming. Who do I want? And then you can really have fun with it. But when we are so emotionally connected to something from the past and we can't seem to let it go, we're stuck there. We're stuck there because we, th we think that the, like, that's all there is for us. Oh, you know, that's it. You've already had your time, Leo. You might as well just, you know, off yourself right now because it's over. And we say that with love in our heart because at the end of the day, there's no death, right? We may lose our physical bodies, but that's where all the trauma is stored anyway. So you're going to have another one at some point. So at the end of the day, just have fun with this, right? At the end of the day, life is only as serious and as, as challenging as we make it. But if we get lost in the what is and we focus on the things in life that, that, that happened and we think that happened to me, that happened to me, oh my gosh, life is over, right? Then what's going to happen is literally life is going to feel like it's over and then you're going to unalign from the true path that spirit has waiting for you, you see, because you have immense amount of abundance waiting in any path that you choose. But what we can see for you right now is with this eight of wands in reverse and that four of cups is that momentum is building in the wrong direction. And we want to remind you, beautiful soul, that whatever you choose to focus on, the momentum starts to build. So that's why your today's life, your what is, has already been manifested from what you've been thinking about prior, right? So whatever you choose to focus on, it's going to manifest into physical form. And it takes time because it's not an overnight process because we want to create and mold and shape our lives. That's why the big things like what house you want to have and all these things kind of starts, you come kind of have that realization, you know, after you've gone through some experiences, right? At this point in your life, you know, maybe you want to, you know, have, you have, have a, a two bedroom, you know, say you're in a one bedroom, maybe like, well, a two bedroom would be fine. But then once you get in a two bedroom, you're like, well, now I want the four bedroom, right? Well, from the penthouse to the mansion, you know, it, 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 it's really about whatever you want. And we kind of feel a little bit hopeless sometimes and think, well, I'm never going to get that stuff. I don't have any education. I'm so far behind. I'm, you know, too old now to find love, whatever the limiting mind creates, right? Which is all limiting mind. We just want to remind you that everything, everything, everything happens in cycles, meaning that whatever is happening right now regards to maybe a breakup or the time as uh, the time, the ending of something in your life, there's a reason for it out with the old and in with the new, you see? So again, don't get caught up in what is, because what is won't be here forever. Instead, start to play in the realms of what can be. So that way you're in the receival mode because you're very open. You're open to receiving, you see? It's uh, an interesting thing because um, so many of us get lost in the what is, you know, because the energy can be very dense and we have a lot of uh, traumas stored within the energy body. How do we heal trauma stored in the energy body? How do we do that shadow work for real? Well, the first step is to be really present in your day today, because anytime an emotional reaction comes up, someone's ego is in front of you, or you have history with this person and you want to react, you want to be, you want to say something hurtful, you want to spite them, you know, you want to prove yourself. Well, all that does is cost us karmic time, you know, because when we react, we feel that emotional kind of charge and then we kind of it like charges up into a low frequency and it also stays in the energy body. It stays there. So then we're carting around all this, this, this trauma that we've, that we've kept there, right? That because we, it's, it's the responsibilities on us. Only we have that choice, right? We have the choice to respond in this world, how we respond. But if we're constantly reacting, we keep ourselves in that low frequency on that same timeline, unevolving and really in this place of, of, of feeling hopeless, you see? And then we really start to look at the what is and we really start to feel bad. And the thing is, Leo, is you're destined for greatness. You're destined for big things. You, beautiful soul, whoa. Like when your focus is projected in, on, a, on a purpose-driven life, the things that you can accomplish are really next level. And the thing is, is that most of us empaths who have a history, again, of either uh, addictions of some kind or feel depressed or hopeless in this life, it's because you have the most amount of power and you just got to figure out how to work, use, utilize your power. It's like, think you're like the X-Men without your glasses on. You know, the one that has the red eyes that just, you know, F shit up, you know, excuse my French, but you need those glasses on, you know, otherwise life is going to be very destructive. We create a destructive life because we're not focusing on what we want. We're focusing on what is right. So you got to put your glasses back on beautiful soul and you got to really start to focus on what truly you want your life to look like. Because then when you start doing that, your today's choices, 
you'll know if it's the right choice because it will be aligned with where you're intending to go, you see. So that's why we want you to understand that your power, your 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 passion, you know, your fire, you're a Leo, right? Your fire, you got to connect back to your fire. You got to connect back to your why. You got to connect back to your purpose, right? What do you want in your life, right? Really, something you really want. If you don't know, it's okay. Sit in those, sit in that, 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 that subconscious realm, sit in that connected realm with, with, with meditation and so forth and kind of just feel that one out. But you know something that will really help is a good old cleanse and detoxify, says your angels, because this will immensely help. Oh my goodness, like I can't even begin to describe it because I started juicing again and I just do, I don't like sugar in my body. So I do celery, cucumber, ginger, zucchini, and it kind of sounds kind of bland, but it's so delicious and fresh. I make it really easy, right? You don't even have to use soap, you just wash out the juicer, right? And I will drink this all day. And it has changed my life because now I can really see when I'm making a reaction, an emotional decision as before I couldn't because my body was full of toxins and I couldn't even feel it because everything felt bad. But I didn't know it felt bad because you know you can kind of, when you're used to something, it feels normal, right? It feels normal when we're used to something. So the angels are recommending cleanse. I would can definitely vouch that this has changed my life. Um, so you can try any cleanse you want, but hydration, let hydration kind of be the leading, the leading partner there, okay? You always wanna think hydration because hydration cleanses. So this message says, with great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways. Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. Now, going through a cleanse can be very emotional because again, we're releasing emotions. So you may be experiencing things and feeling things that just feel crazy, but that's actually a good thing. And if you can hold off and stay on your purpose, stay driven to stick to that cleanse and stay consistent with it, wow, you will have results of a lifetime. And then you will have more focus, more energy, more focus, more drive, more, 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 more vitality to be able to put towards the things that matter, right? You won't notice your spouse having a bad day. You'll notice yourself thinking, I'm gonna make them smile. You won't notice the lack of money in your bank account. You'll start to realize, ah, Let's let's start to shoot for the stars here. You know, I'm realizing, oh, here's my contrast. I don't have I don't have enough money. Pfft, that can't do. Let's start manifesting more money. It won't be like this. Ah, oh, I got no money. Everything's wrong. People aren't responding. Clients aren't coming in. You know, there won't be this this fear. This this kind of lack energy. There will be an empowerment within yourself. Empowerment. And that's what we want you back. Get that empowerment back. And it starts with all in the body always. So maybe give that cleanse a try. Um, but do do know that whatever you choose to focus on consistently, uh, you kiss the rest goodbye. So it's just about you getting yourself focused. So if you're undisfo- if you're unfocused and you're fo- your life is full of distractions, you got to start by simplifying your life and really cleansing that up. And again, when we start to clean up the choices we make, and we all have the con- power to do that with the with the food choices we make, then that's kind of the start of. <laughs> of a whole can of worms that we definitely want to open. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby. Beautiful soul. I hope you enjoyed this video and it brought you some value. And if you want to watch a really good video, check out these videos.